Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for Tuesday or around the Tuesday the 13th of uh, April 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. Um, so let's pull the first card and see what we have. What is the message that people need to hear for Tuesday the 13th? of April 2021 and remember my readings can resonate a few days after when they release okay what do we have please for Tuesday the 13th of April 2021 okay that flipped out <laughs> so talent I have the energy of talent here let's pull some cards so this is the Tarot Grand Lux I'm using here, the deck, by Marchetti. So what do we have, please, angels, spirits, guides for the day? What is the message people need to hear the most? Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. So we have the Eight of Cups. And the Ace of Coins, okay. Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, and we have the Emperor. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. definitely feels in this situation that somebody has walked away from something walked away from something that doesn't serve them because it, it's been a, a test you know there's definitely an energy if you've been tested here and really I'm pulled towards this here um, the eight of cups the three of swords you know the three of swords yes this can be in terms of love romance relationships heartbreak somebody walking away you walking away from them they are walking away from you but you know it, it can also be to do with other areas so for some of you it might well be business career could be disappointment some difficult truth coming to light that cuts you deeply and the choice to walk away I'm getting this energy, you know, some of you might have been going for some kind of promotion or job or um, title or uh, call it what you are, you know, more responsibility, call it what you will. I have this feeling of hitting a wall or hitting a glass ceiling, you know, um, trying to get that promotion, trying to get that next level up, that new beginning, that opportunity. And it feels like it's been met with some disappointment. I mean, there's levels to the Three of Swords, right? Ultimately, the Three of Swords is the test of a relationship. Something has been tested. It is Saturn in Libra. So there's definitely an energy here of, and you have been working so hard. You know, the Ten of Wands is, can be about burdens, but it can also be about exceptional hard work and still be met with that Saturnian barrier because we have Saturn in Sag Sagittarius there. And it's towards some kind of exciting opportunity. But it feels like it's been met with disappointment. I, I'm definitely getting this energy. You've been working towards this Ace of Wands, this clear opportunity. Now, it could it feels to do within a current environment or situation. And there's a feeling that you might have been you might have missed out. However, there is definitely what I do like about the Eight of Cups is the Eight of Cups person walks towards the Nine of Cups, the wish fulfillment, the heart's desire, being completely fulfilled and satisfied and thankful on every level, you know. So there's definitely this energy here of you, you want to turn your back on some kind of disappointment or hurt here and walk towards something better. So it feels like you might have been taking steps to do that because you, there's, a, there's definitely an energy if there's reason to believe in you. 
there's reason to acknowledge your talent, whatever has, it feels to do with you work so hard. I mean, you know, there's sometimes an energy of, you know, you can be taken advantage of a little bit, you know, overburdened, over delegated to, um, taking on a lot of responsibility. And yet you want the recognition for it now. Um, and it's interesting, we have the kind of public recognition card at the end, which is the Six of Wands. So it definitely feels like someone is being noticed here because I'm definitely getting some financial career opportunity here. I mean, the Ace of Coins can also be to do with moving, relocating. It might well be that some of you might need to do that for an opportunity. But this is the golden opportunity here, uh, the golden coin, and it, it marks a new beginning in your conscious reality. And I have to say, it feels very good in terms of business, career, finances. I'm definitely getting this energy of there was disappointment to do with some kind of opportunity that was absolutely connected to your heart and soul. However, it does feel for some of you that you have taken the initiative, taken control of a situation. You might also be speaking to somebody in authority here. Uh, you know, the emperor can be head of an organization as well. Um, but, you know, there's definitely an energy of the opportunity. You are being given a new door is opening for you. It feels like where you might have hit some glass ceiling here or there was some kind of disappointment towards what you've been working so hard towards. There's definitely the energy here that you are being given a real beautiful opportunity that, you know, if you take action towards the Ace of Pentacles, it's a card of abundance. It grows into the tree. You can see behind there is growth here in this and long term growth, sustainable growth. Um, if you use your practical skills, knowledge, experience and talent. Um, somebody's recognising your talent here, somebody's recognising your skills. Because we have victory, a significant achievement after some kind of challenge, you know, and it is somebody who perseveres, who is also on a voyage of self-discovery and maybe wanting some kind of recognition for the work. So for some of you, it might well be there's some greater monetary recognition that's associated with this that is ideal for you. It could be at a large organization, lots of tiers, lots of structure, um, you know, national, multinational for some of you. Um, but it definitely feels in this energy, you are, you are getting exactly, where you, exactly what you want, what you, what you deserve, you know. There's a kind of feeling here you will be able to display your talent to the best in this and it feels to do with some kind of new organization yeah very nice energy so final message please for the day for all signs final message for the day for all signs please Final message for the day for all signs. So I've got three cards. We have Panda, Balance. Ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. Isn't that nice? We have Polar Bear, Nurture. Allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. Very nice. And I love this. We have Sloth. Um, Digital detox, recalibrate, reset and recharge. And I feel that is exactly what you're doing. There's some kind of resetting energy, turning your back on something, walking away, but walking towards this wonderful golden opportunity that's being presented here. Um, and it just feels like there's an energy to thrive, I have to say. Uh, being noticed, somebody's being noticed today, uh, recognised. Certainly a few days, you know, from when the re reading's released. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. Um, yeah, I was going to say, actually, you know, this is very good career, financial opportunities, job offers, business, partnership offers, call it what you will. But it feels like there is something beautiful coming. So I hope you enjoyed the reading and I will see you next time. Thank you.